Well, you press attack one too many times and you just... Mm, I'm gonna break my controller. I'm gonna break my controller. Yeah, whoever designed this level is evil. Hello everybody, my name is Marcus Nagoshi and welcome to another episode of Near Replicant. I have been waiting to play. I wanted to play right away, but I um I gave myself a break, but a day, and I'm back now. I'm back and ready for more. Let's go, let's go, let's go. We are in facade. We met some wa weird wonky characters and now we're about to we're about to you know, we're going to save save the the old the old prince who got lost. He got himself in a in a predicament of sorts. Get some coffee. Mm. As we have noticed, yes. Oh, sweet. Okay, now where is the Alright, let's know rules still feels wrong. I guess you have to pray and the rules must be obeyed. What about you, Fyra? Fyra. Thank you. Yeah. No problemo. Hey, Kaini. Where did I go? What's... Yeah. Welcome, oh, you friend of our benefactor. We save, uh, she saves one village. Villager. And uh, she's a benefactor. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, she's uh, she's coming with us. <laughs> Get through the sandstorm. Probably means we have to protect her. Lead the way. I will do my best. Do my darndest. Okay, I am not. Look at this. Does it look like I'm impeding progress to you? No. See? Vice, let her do her thing. You're the one impeding progress, not me. Or let me at him. Are we leaving the girl behind? No. Look at these backflips. Look at her doing her best. Fire is my favorite character. The embodiment of perseverance. Yes. I wish I could half jog at the same speed. It's, I'm either walking or running, and there's no in between. It's been a Bible there. Instead of doing this stutter step, that's fine. That's fine. Straight to the sandstorm, huh? No wolves to be seen as of yet. Always a good sign. What's that over there? Gold. Ooh. So she's running a marathon. She's pacing herself. Get some water. Get stopped, maybe, perhaps. I feel like it's dangerous to go down here. I will guide you through the desert. Please stay close to me. Okay. Through the desert. Oh, we got dark real fast. It would seem. Okay, alright, 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 fine. Stay close to me, but not too close, or else Vice gets mad at you. Okay, is this a good distance, Vice? Hmm. Beware the wolves! Hey. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, it's still alive, jeez. Well, not anymore, but... 
The sand is too much. I can barely open my eyes. <laughs> the moment I open my mouth, the sand rushes inside. You have a mouth? You even have a mouth? Yeah. <laughs> How does Vera deal with this? The mask. Perhaps there is some manner of filter inside that mask of hers. Yeah. Keep a keen eye on your surroundings. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're not dead. They're just really far away. Vera sure is brave, isn't she? Yeah. For such a minuscule body, she seems to possess <laughs> almost boundless stores of energy. Yeah. Look at her go. Look at her go. What a trooper. Alright. It's a wonder how she knows where to go uh, in this sandstorm. I mean, I have a map and I get lost all the time. Though that, uh, that might just be me. No enemies yet. Fighting wolves as well. Oh, that didn't kill him? Yeah. This girl must possess extreme patriotism. Look how she gives all for the <laughs> sake of her prince. True, also. Uh, this is a long way to these ruins. Don't tell me the prince got all the way out here, despite the wolves. He better be this like super strong, beefy character. I was gonna be real disappointed. Give me like Chrom Fire Emblem levels of prince, not uh, uh, not Cusco. Never uh, close. Baron Temple just said. One more thing. Hey, you had a map. Are you gonna stay here or are you gonna go back? Stay here. Okay. Please stay safe. No one's gonna be protecting you. This is as far as Thanks I can go. Thanks for your help. Okay. Here we go. Seal of the Mysterious Forest. Um, I see, I see. All right, uh, leaping rabbit. What was that supposed to mean? What is a leaping rabbit? Is it an attack? Huh? No jumping. 
Sorry, what now? Yeah, no jumping. Yes, we have to play by the rules. Gotcha. Yeah, I got it now. No jumping. I thought it was a special attack of some sort. Okay, squeeze by. Yes. Too close for comfort. Okay. I wonder if I can push this. Nope. I'll push this right up to here. Can I block both? Yeah. <laughs> Actually, wait. Oi. That was close. Don't mind me, Kaine, just uh, schmoovin' some boxes. You know how it is. Okay. That works. Here. Yoink it over. Now that I know that I can block two of these with one block. Oops, actually, that might be too much. Okay. Oh. Actually, no, I have to push it forwards, or else I won't have. Oh, I'm really cutting it close. And I don't have to do this, but I'm going to anyway. Probably gonna have to grab that later as well. Oh, you know what? Maybe I don't. Watch this. Ready? Ow. I see how it is. I see how it is. Alright, speed run. I bet I could push bosses a lot faster if Kanye helped out, but that's fine, it's fine. Yeah, if I'm doing a speed run, I don't have to push it right up against. That's enough. it over, get it ready. Wait for this to end. Crystal. What does this mean? What does that mean? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Look out to do something? No, I just have to break it. Oh, master of the trial, it's time to devote yourself to the next role. Ah, what a bother. I wonder what this prince is like. The man is tasked to protect his people, and yet he's made them toil to save him. I think that tells us everything we need to know. Oh. Yeah, why is he here? Well, what exactly does that say? That he is an incompetent fool. <laughs> Did I just Child. hear someone? Okay. What is the rule for this one? Nope, oh, cutscene. There he is. Hmm. A oh, pretty boy. Where did you come from, boy? I have no boy. I'm the 93rd Prince of Facade. Wait, seriously? But you're just a kid. Look who's talking. Yeah. Uh oh. What? I thought I was gonna crush him. Okay, he's gone. Gotta save him. See, if he had just come quietly, I could have been over right there. I still don't know why he's here. No jumping and no stopping. Well, that was unusual. Come on, we have to help him. 
Okay, we could see right. So no stopping for longer than five seconds. But I can dodge all. Correct. Oi, yeah. oi, oi, oi. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. I'll mess up the child sometimes before you suffer the next troll. Let's save this lad. Hmm. Kine, 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 wait, Kine, Kine. Eh, whatever, just fine. I'm not fine though. Jeez. <laughs> Covered in sand. Uh, Take care pain. before your health is lost. Thank you. <gasps> Covered in sand. Take Platformer. Care before all your health is lost. Okay, we made it. All right, what's this one now? I like how this is a cutscene. <laughs> okay, what's the next rule? No racing move wolf, so no running. No evading and no making doing magic. What? Oh. Booty God shot. Damn it! This shit's starting to piss me off! Oh, you're not allowed to do that in here. Kine! <laughs> oh, there she goes. What in the. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Bye. Let me go. Yo, they really like these undershots, huh? <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, I have to walk. Can't run, right? Yeah. Okay. Frick. No running. Uh. Okay. That means I can block them. Can I break these? This is gonna be annoying. What the? It was that easy. Oh, they come back. Okay. A leisurely stroll on my way to. <gasps> okay. okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You're not dead. Just don't move an inch to your left and or a right. How do I do this? I can't block those. I hate it here. I have to take my chances on this side because I can break these bad boys. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm. This is so annoying. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you right now. Please don't run. I didn't. I didn't run. <laughs> I didn't run. I just accidentally pressed it a little too hard. Can I turn off auto? Here, here. Uh, controls. I want to turn off auto run, auto sprint. Off. Bless. Well, I got lied to. Alright, Sloan and Steady wins the race. This is gonna be half the video, isn't it? Marcus dies because he can't... Stop running. Like an idiot. Okay. I'm in pain. This is the worst level. <laughs> what if I just walk forwards? What if I just walk forwards, huh? Is the board about to... Okay, is there a way to zoom out? Is there a way to zoom out? I think I can do it like that. Okay, left. The line is right there. What? I hate it here. Alright, box breaking strat again. I really have no patience. Ah, ha, 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 funny, funny, haha. Ha. I'm gonna break my controller. I'm gonna break my controller. Yeah, whoever designed this level is evil. Well, you press attack one too many times, and you just. Mm -hmm.
I just won't talk. I'll just seep in my in my suffering. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Wait, but I can jump. But I can jump. Just a minute. I can jump. This changes everything. Holy moly. Alright guys, it looks like I won't be finishing this playthrough. This is... I've never felt more antsy in my life. Never. I don't really need to break that one. Hey, you wanna stop over there? Okay, so my controller is fucking broken. <laughs> no, 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 no! I may have met my match. So I can attack. I can attack and that makes me move faster. Okay. Walk. I just have to say walk a bunch of times because I keep forgetting. I just walk around like that. I'm almost there. Just don't walk. Just don't walk. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> if it makes me do that one more time, I will lose my mind. Oh my goodness. Alright, alright, so it's this one. What? Then where do you want me to go? Here, I guess? Of course, I try every door. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe I'm just gonna go all the way. Okay, I guess we don't need to do those doors. Huh? Pardon? Excusez moi? Serious more force, man. I okay, I should heal up. Okay. Mm well, what the heck am I supposed to do? Oh. Alright, more trials. I got ahead of myself there. I get it. Please, no more running. Uh, protect the turtle. Nope. Okay. Okay. Nope. You can move though. <laughs> Look at all the movement options I have. Look at all the movement options that I have. It's that easy. Yeah, what are those boxes supposed to be for? I don't need them. How efficient I am. Who shields anyway? Cringe. What you got for me? Hmm, evasive mouse, magic speeding bat. Okay, I can still run though. Oi, 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 oi. Not hold on. Figured it out. Big brain, big brain, big brain, big brain, ooh, big brain, ooh, oh, 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 monkey big brain, oh, 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 oh. What's next? Hmm. Multiple glowy boys. Don't, 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 don't,
blade wielding tiger, so I can't attack. Oh, the magic. We need quiet or we're gonna mess this up again. These masked folks suddenly enjoy their bizarre customs. I wonder what drove them to make such complicated rules. Okay. Can I cheese it? Can I cheese it? I cannot cheese it. Okay. Just continue firing. Okay. Go on over. That's it, right? No? What? Alright, there we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. Ah, oh, another. Another platformer. Here we go. I'm bad at these. Oh. Oh, first try. Hey. What did I say? Bad at these? Never mind. Okay. What have we got here? Are we outside now? Why is this a cutscene? Okay. I could just walk out myself. Mm, I didn't miss anything, right? This looks like a boss fight. Or a big fight. At the very least. Evasive mouse. Okay. Pretty simple so far. Really? Okay, I'm just gonna shoot them down if they're not gonna attack me. Okay. Bessa. Oh, that's a better. Oh, whoa. Better one than I have already. Wait, did that not count? That, that didn't count as a dodge? Ow. I have to deflect these guys. Oi, 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 oi. Magic experience rate plus two. Okay. So that didn't count as a dodge roll because I wish I could figure out where these uh, tutorials were. That'd be nice. Is this open? Mm, yes, it is. Okay. Sorry, I want to. Yeah. 
items, class, weapons, word of it, notes, tutorials, attack, basic controls. No, attack controls. What is Skullcracker? Well, oh, press Y. Evading. No. Press X at the moment after a sidestep for unique attack. Hold L in the direction of an enemy and press RT to size up behind them. In the direction of the enemy. Gotcha. What was that? Yeah, iron ore. So it needs to be in the direction of them. So it's a sidestep. I didn't do a dodge roll, I did a sidestep. Good to know. That's what I've been wanting to do this whole time. The uh, teleports behind you trick. Last time. I can't believe I used up my <laughs> my heals before this. Could I just heal myself with the mailbox? Alright, what big baddie are we up against? What's this? <clears throat> well, this doesn't look suspicious at all. Nope, not at all. Oh, yeah. I suppose that was to be expected. They've been doing that the whole time. Hey, <laughs> look! Ah. I just taking a little nap, you know. He got tired of being carried around by this thing. I would fall asleep too, honestly. Oh, what's happening? Are they integrating the prince into the boss fight? Like some sort of weird box mecha? That mewling child is inside. Ah, uh, Without yes. any rules to bind us, we are free to unleash the entirety of our powers. It's about time. Oh. Dark magic blast will really just do it, huh? What is this thing? Yeah, I'm kind of just destroying this thing. I detect magic within the glowing cubes. Ow. If I can stop getting hit, that'd be real cool. It's just an FPS now. Ow. Oh, they, they changed. They changed. I won't stop shooting at this one. Yeah. Got him. Oh, some of them I can't destroy. Gotta be mindful of those ones. Like that. That's it, right? Yeah. Whoa! Oh. Here, here, here. Shoot, shoot. Okay, protect yourself. Next one's coming around. Oh, damn it. Last, last one, last one, last one, last one. Okay, good. That's it. <laughs> Oi. Yeah. So many cubes. Oh. The guardian of this temple is a curious sight Jeez. indeed. Says the talking book. Nothing, huh? I'm gonna change my um. Uh, not dark phantasm, but uh, dark lance, which is my favorite ability. Oh. Oh. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to dodge. Okay, okay, okay. 
are running around. How am I supposed to turn them red? Is a question. This is a powerful foe. Indeed. There you are, you bastard. Ah. Kaine, I'm gonna kill the shit out of you. <laughs> now hold still and die already. Hey, that's what the two B said. Die already. Did that work? No. Yeah. Figured not. You do be made out of blocks. <laughs> Wee. Wee. That was a close one. Welcome back, Kaine. Now, what do we do? How did you find us? Beats me. I just kicked a bunch of ass and wound up here. Ow. And without even bothering to get dressed. <laughs> Fuck off, book. <laughs> You're never not gonna mention that, huh? Kaine, the glowing cubes take priority. Screw your priorities! I'm gonna kill this thing my way! Boy, I only got one block. worry about the, this one. The only one I really have to worry about is the that one. Okay, easy enough. Ow. They fire one off. Oh, so we're not supposed to do that. Gotcha. Kaine is just kind of doing her own thing. I was like, okay, I swear I was jumping. I was jumping. Like that. I was jumping. Kaine, stop killing the body. I swear. I know I was doing it too, but. There we go. Interesting. I'm not hitting it. Okay. I don't know what's happening. Gotta aim ahead of it. Simple enough. Simple enough. Oi. Oi, oi. Okay. Ow. Lance. The lance is a lot more accurate. Be it, right? Right there, bud. Mm -hmm. He seems fine. Ah, what do we have here? Is that what he's looking for? He looks really happy about it. No way. Is that? That he did the Zelda thing, but is that the 
mask that the robots were wearing in near Automata? It was, wasn't it? There was one that was like running away from us in the desert. Oh, is this what they were copying? This, uh, these facade people? Is this the. Oh, wow. It might be. The royal mask. I see. See where he's gone. Just mm. you think, just so that you may know your freedoms. Okay, interesting way of putting that. Yet he still died of the black scroll, which is why we were here in the first place. Of course, hail, all hail the new king. I apologize to you, my foreign friends, for all of your hardships. I swear by my new position as the king of Saud, I shall grant whatever you desire. Please, what is it I can do for you? Nonsense, speak your desire that I may see it done. I the regent has just given us an order. I guess so. In that case, how about you make rule zero? And have it say that if people don't like a rule, mm. they can vote to change it. Nice. A splendid idea. Yeah. They do. If they can remember over 120,000 rules or so. No, 200,000, right? Such as the way the masked people. One headed sword rebirth, cool. Thanks. But I think most of your praise belongs to someone else. Fyra, Fyra. Yeah. Be friends now. I hope you guys are friends. Play nice. Do you know how to cure the black scrawl? So soon. How does it clean your father's so life? Even a king couldn't recover from it. Ah. Uh, okay, everything we tried ended in flames. It seems there is no way around it. Yeah. It's the only lead we have. Okay, I guess this was just a nice little detour. And these sealed verses. We came across an old song that's. And yes, we are well aware that refrains penned by minstrels half in their cups <laughs> are hardly a reliable source of information. Hey, I'll believe anything, and I'll collect verses, orbs, crystals, magic goat, goat meat, meat, whatever. <laughs> I want to talk to Fire before I leave. Let me talk to Fire. Oh, I can't talk to Fire. See you later, okay? Thanks for all your hard work. Anyway. Okay, I'll stop. One moment, please. What's up? Is it us again? Of course. Sure. Just try not to get sure, yourself killed. Sure. Why not? A uh, sealed verse. Obtain dark wall magic. Erect a magical defensive barrier. Tries to increase the size of the wall. Can I hurt people with it? Can I crush enemies underfoot? Yes, I can throw a fire. Talk to fire. Come visit, visit us soon. And uh, come visit us soon, okay? Yes, for you, not for the prince, but for I'm you. I'm worried about Yona. Well, let's go back. True, it's been a while. I'm gonna do the wall. Oh, it's a huge shield. Oh, wait a second. I like that. Hey, man. Entrance, please. Strange thing store. I gotta go. I gotta go. You can't just write strange thing store and not expect me to check it out. How strange are your wares? We shall find out. Post haste. Yeah, I like this place. Yeah. It's nice. Quaint. And weird, most importantly. Alright. Where is the Strange Thing store? Is it- oh, is it close to the entrance? That is fortuitous. That is truly fortuitous. Yeah, it's right here. Nice. Oh wow, he just sails right on past. Hey. Strange and unusual goods Er, When I actually have some on hand, he doesn't have anything. <laughs> I've been tricked. Okay, um... 
Let's check out that new weapon. Rebirth. So the one I have right now is 112. Without... Wow. I just keep getting better weapons, huh? Oh! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Okay. Rush it back home. Maybe fight some wolves. I still can't believe I missed my own birthday with my sister. And it's so sweet of herself uh, for her to hold a party, even if it's by herself. Sorry, by herself. <clears throat> Wolvie boys. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. You wanna fight? Ow. Ooh, I can't hurt people. Uh. I oh. suppose rules are rules, even if they are. How long does this last? I don't think they're absurd. Jeez. Well, those rules are important to the masked people. You don't say. Does it last do. until it breaks? And I think it's up. important we respect that. Well, well. The boy is beginning to sound like a man. Rules are rules. Boy, I'm not a kid, you know. <laughs> hey, less talking, more walking. All right, Kaine. You heard the lady vice. Okay. Does it consume, like... I want to know how much mana it consumes. Oh yeah, I also got some new words, right? Uh, da -da -da. Weapons... Re oh. Weapons... Rebirth. It's, uh... Da -da 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 attack power. <sighs> okay, this is just pa, but there was one more. Or was it a magic thing? Oot. Experience, right? I'm not sure. Is it magic? Oh, let's put stuff in my dark wall. Uh, da 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 da. There's nothing? Nothing. MP cost minus 6%. That's that's huge, actually. Okay, we'll do that. But really, I can't... There's nothing uh, that I have will add an effect. Interesting. Okay, let's do one with the Dark Lance. Nope. Just Geb. What do I have on it? Asher, Paralyze. Oh, I didn't drop right. Okay, we'll go over that stuff. I'll keep playing around. What this? An ore? Oh, Desert Rose. Desert Rose. Who this? Someone on the map? Mushroom. Lizard. 
closer to him. Sorry. Quests. How many lizard tails do I need? Roger delivery by a lot of the twins. Uh, five lizard tails. Oh, oh, one more lizard tail. One more lizard tail, and then I can go back. I want to hear them sing. Oh, they die in one hit. That was self-defense. Y'all saw that, right? No way did I provoke it to attack first. Uh, cold ore. Just lying around. Let's go back. Oh, oh, you wanna fight too? That's crazy. You're dead now. You're dead now. Meat. Meat. I'm feeding the family. We're feasting tonight. Ooh, there's a tail. Yes! Okay, I have enough. Beautiful. Berries. Okay, we are back. Uh, Marcus came back. He came back home to see me. Yay! Oh, she's so cute. She's so cute. Man, I love Yona. Wholesome. Wholesome. Actually, before I go to Yona, or maybe after I go to Yona, because I'm right here. Yeah, let's do that first. I'm a home sister. How have you been doing? Good? Well? Healthy? Hopefully. We shall see. There she is. Aww. I should bring you home like a, a game or books to read or something. Jonah? Oh. Hey. Hey. How are you feeling? Better. Now that I'm taking the medicine you That's got. great. Good. Um, by the way, What's that? are you gonna stay here today? Oh, I said I would go out and do stuff, but uh, she requested I must. I gotta stay. I gotta stay. You bet. Yeah. You'll stay with me? <gasps> really? Yeah. Yeah, Yona. I'll stay. I want to hug you. Head pats. Now get back to bed. Pat, pat, pat. Pat, pat, pat. Okay. Okay, well. Alright, we hang out at home for a while. Pretty good. I hear a voice. I squint and see a boy standing before me. His hair is silver. His skin is pale, and he stares up at me with hard, glassy eyes. Soon, his lips begin to move, but no sound comes out. What is he saying? I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't hear him. I can't. I can't. I can't. I try to leave, but something about the boy holds my gaze. I watch his face. Exp expression. <laughs> Expressionless, as his lips slowly flutter. What is he trying to say? Wait, it's a phrase. I can almost make it out. It starts with an S, then there's an E. I can almost see it now. The letters begin to fall together, one after the other, faster and faster. Sealed verse. It's a sealed verse. The thing I am looking for, the key to saving my sister. I stare at the boy with renewed ferocity, trying desperately to make out his next word. Dream. Dream? What? What the hell does that mean? The lips move again, faster now. I can't follow them. Damn it! I can't make it out! I want to scream. I want to tear the walls down around me, but instead I force myself to be calm. I can do this. I can do it for Yona. Slowly, ever so slowly, I parse out the letters that make up his final words. Forest of Myth. Guess we're going on the Forest of Myth. The next morning.
Just a dream. Just a dream. Yep. But in my dreams, I'm hunting sealed versus. Guess so. Hi, Yona. Good morning. Ohayou gozaimasu. Morning. Morning, Yona. What's wrong? Are you feeling sick too? No, uh -huh. I just. Just the dream. I had a strange dream. What was it about? It's nothing. Don't worry Don't about worry it. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. I had a dream too. Oh? Oh, yeah? Yeah. Me and this boy were playing a game together. Oh? What kind of game? It was called Guess the Words. Ah. Uh, they up had the same dream. I never heard of it before. How did it work? The boy would move his mouth, but no words would come out. Mm. Then I had to guess what he was trying to say. It was hard. I wanted to play hide and seek. <laughs> he had to play his dumb game instead. So what did he say? I don't know. All I could figure nice. out was dream and forest of myth. But don't worry. I'm gonna study hard so that next time I can figure out everything. Yeah, beat this boy at his own game. We should play a game together sometime too. We should. Sure, Yona. Say, next time you go out, could you pick something up for me? Sure, what's up? Yona's gift. Sure, Yona. What do you need? Um, a, melon. a melon. A melon? You got it. Don't forget. Okay. I'm pretty sure I can just buy a melon, right? Anyway, today, I guess. Something troubling you, lad? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come on. I need to go ask Popola something. But before that, I'm gonna grab her drink, and I'm also gonna pick up a lemon. A melon. A melon and a lemon are two different things, Marcus. Okay, we shall run to the. Uh, store, right? Superware, potions, probably not. The. Maybe? Do you know about the. No. Nope. Okay, nothing. Don't look at the signs, look at the map. Look at the map, yeah. We've got some. Bet you have melons. No, they don't. Okay, maybe, maybe at Come the back. at the seaside. Okay, let's check out the map. Which way is it? We are trying to go south, and south is through the market. Always a treat to hear Devola in the. Uh, what do you call it? In the pub, singing through the through the windows. I think we could beat that guy. Probably not. Still, huh? There. <gasps> yeah, I don't want to mess with him. Wait, maybe with my new my new skill. Tell if I had the shield, shield still or not. It's so pee. Okay. Easy, easy.
All right, here we go. So it probably does have health. Dark wall is so strong. <laughs> Give me something. Nothing? Really? Man, okay, you know what? That's fine. The the reward for that one was satisfaction. The satisfaction of beating a big dude. Anyway, the dark wall is so strong. <laughs> Especially against characters that uh, one-shot you. You guys missed it, uh, but in the what, the missing episode, I fought that thing like three, four times and just died because it would swing at me and just immediately kill me. Ew! What is that? Are you friendly? No, Kanye's fighting it, so it's not friendly. Yeah, you got no chance though. Earning money. I think I know how to earn money. Okay. Giant spider so Oh, spooky house. Oh, I can go in the spooky house. Wait, I wanna, I want out. Yeah, I don't like how everything turned grayscale. <laughs> I think it's not just my color bias. Anyway. I wonder if the giant spider silk costs a oh rainbow spider silk, let's go. Okay, we'll check that place out some other time. For now, let's go make the drink for Popola. Or Is she fighting something? Funny? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, now we go to the bartender. He makes a weird tail drink. Mouse and and uh rat tail drink. Nope. Alright. Stop! I, gave my girl. I hate it. There we go. Here's your ingredients. Although I can't imagine what kind of drink. Oh, it tastes just as extreme <laughs> as it looks. Popola is the only person I know who can handle it. Nice. Anyway, tell Popola I'll have this stuff sent over to the village as soon as it's ready. Okay? Got it. Say it. Say less. Stop. I don't want to talk to you again, please. <laughs> Care about you and your girl. A drink with a lizard's tail inside certainly sounds impressive. It does. It do. <laughs> yeah, Popal is really something when she starts drinking. Oh. Surely you jest. <laughs> no joke. Once she got what? so plastered, she practically destroyed the shop. What a powerful being. Knocked down a wall and everything. All right, nice. Does alcohol affect Devla in the same manner? I like how the voice line continues into the loading screen. Very nice. Devil is more of a lightweight. <laughs> if she has even a little, she starts acting all cute and Aww, meowing like fun. a kitten. Twin Devil, stuff. Huh? For true. For true. I don't get excited there, Alcohol Vice. Alcohol is a fearsome chemical indeed. Bonk, bonk the book, book bonk. Ah, uh, music always hits in uh, near games. That's for sure. Hmm, is the big dude still here? No, we demolished that thing. Very nice. It doesn't respawn like the other shades. Ba -ba 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 
Oh, sorry to today, so I stayed home and hid in bed. I could still hear Devla singing from somewhere, though. Listening to her always makes me happy. Me too. <clears throat> sorry, I morped. Okay. We're gonna talk to Popola anyway. Let's see what talking to Popola does. That may be the last thing we do in this particular episode. Depending on how long it takes. Let's go talk to Popola about my dream, though. So, what days do... Does, uh... Devola come out and sing at the fountain? My, my question. Also, yeah, they mentioned it before, but the sun never sets. It's never nighttime. Which is super interesting to me. Despite... Despite shades being affected by the sun. They, uh, it's constantly sunny out. <laughs> or maybe not sunny, but like constant sun outside. They still exist. Alright. Hmm. What's up, Popola? Oh. Hi. Oh. I just got a strange letter in the mail. Yeah? Dearest Popola, I hope this letter finds you well. I am writing in hopes of bringing to your attention a certain dream issue of concern regarding recent events in Dream, the village. I was hoping I might be Dream able to get your advice Dream on the matter. Recently there have been Dream reports, Dream Dream, of a certain Dream 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 of Dream 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 Evil Dream 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 Empty Dream Curse Dream 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 Evil Dream 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 Words dream. Dream dream and dream 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 someone dream 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 dream. Yours truly. That is certainly one bizarre piece of writing. Yeah. Who's it from? The mayor of a small village in the forest of myth. Oh. It's a wooded area up north. Well. Next stop. The forest of myth? They're usually a bright and cheerful group of people. Something like this is very out of character for them. Interesting. I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah? I'll check it out. Uh, you will? But... Don't worry about it. I've got business there anyway. Yeah. Two birds, one stone. Oh, well, alright. Thank you. What a coincidence that there's something funky going on. The forest of myth is to the north. Mm -hmm. After you cross the small wooden bridge in the northern plains. Okay. Um... The forest of... What about the... Do I have to leave and then come back in? The forest of Okay, wait, 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 wait. The quest. Report back to Popola. Okay, maybe I have to leave the house. Let's try this again. I'll be back, I'll be back. I have to leave the building, possibly? Probably. Let uh let Popola reset. From the from the weird dream letter. She must be shook. She's probably startled. Needs a uh, needs some time. I hope two minutes is long enough. Because uh, I must ask her to sing for me. Okay. Hey, Popola. The nice. tavern's got your drink. Oh, that's great. Let me get Devla and then we'll head on over. Very pog. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Concert time, concert time. Nice of the sisters to come sing for Yona while I'm gone. <laughs> Sorry, let's stretch there. I don't know where that song comes from, and yet... Mm -hmm. Such an unusual sound. I feel like I could listen to this song forever. Yeah. I hear that. Funny how she can't <gasps> sing it unless she has that crazy drink, huh? Nice. Oh, so beautiful. Reminds <laughs> me of back when I was a lot younger, it does. Prettier, too. Can we just sit here and vibe for a while? <laughs> No. 
Alright, I don't know if this is gonna get me copyright struck, but I'm gonna vibe. <laughs> I'm gonna talk over it though, just in case. I've probably already been, uh... Oh, it's such a nice song. Oh my goodness. Okay, I do... I wish I wasn't recording this so I can just listen to it without talking. But yeah, I'm just gonna ramble over it. It's so pretty. I'm gonna listen to the soundtrack. That's one thing I've always uh, enjoyed about the near, the near uh, series, for sure. Okay, that's enough for now. But yeah, damn. Pop off, Queens. Well, that was fun. Hopefully, it won't be so long until the next time. Yeah, let's hope. Gonna have to get more tales though, I guess. Nice. Evans, what a thrill! I had no idea those two had that in them. Me neither. Yeah. Is it just devil in here? Yeah. Hmm. What have we got what today? We got today. Which job should I give oh, you first? Oh wow. What? Boy, the ladies just can't get enough of you. Oh. I hear another one's looking for help. Mutton. Something to do with <laughs> mutton, I think. Mm, I've got mutton. Yeah. I wrote down the client's location on. Okay. That's nearby. Sing your heart out, Devla. I'm pretty sure I got mutton anyway. Oh, hello. What? No. Who? Which? No, 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 no. Wait, wait. Get more rice quests. Uh, -uh quests. Signature dish. No, 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 no. no. Oh, right. I was supposed to get melon, hey? Uh, Jonas cooking. Oh wait, we should do uh, uncomplete, no, no, uncompletable, incomplete quests. Uh, Mr. the blacksmith's wife. Lost eggs. Tavern keeper. Collecting, bring them to the client. Needs three medicinal herbs. Tavern keeper's grandmother. Oh right, right, right. Special delivery. Ask you for a melon and signature dish. Yeah, 10 bags of wheat. Oh, I don't have enough. Okay, let's just talk to the tavern keeper real quick. I was just talking to her though. Crazy. What's up? I brought the stuff you asked. Oh, perfect. Mixing. Since you've already been such a help. Fountain by the okay. library. Oh. Old lady's elixir. Oh, that's your grandmother. We talked to her briefly. Anyway, uh, after this, we'll head to the next section of the game. Lots of side quests. This is definitely something I could just... Like, uh, if I wasn't recording, I would just endlessly just <laughs> do side quests. <laughs> Play this game Man, for hours. I have something for you. And if I was streaming, I would. Oh, what a nice young man. Now I could finally walk around without yeah. pain. Don't work yourself too hard, yeah. man. I won't, Sonny. And here, let me give oh, you something you. for all your help. Two thousand gold cheese. Alright, I'll take that. Thank you, madam. Maybe Okay. Wait. Uh, do I want to... Up north is... Northern Plains to the Junk Heap. I need to go to the Airy, though. Maybe I can go take a do quick detour to the Airy? I'm scared. Alright. So no rolling. No rolling. It's simple. The plan is simple. No rolling. Quick detour, we'll head to the Forest of Myth, probably save and then call it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing I hate more than... Look at that. This is the perfect spell for this kind of quest. I gotta turn on auto run, because I turned it off. 
game. Auto sprint, yes. <gasps> okay, okay. Jumping doesn't do anything. Thank goodness. Copper ore. Let's heal up real quick. So the airy is across the bridge and to the left. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe I'll just skip to... Yeah, I'll skip to it... To when I get to the... The village. Okay, so... I saved. And now I just gotta find my way to... The... Where am I going? <laughs> get one blanks, quest, da 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 da... Incomplete quests. Fragile delivery. Guard at the northern gate has this gold house, highest point of the area. Okay. Oh, 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 please, no jumping. Highest point of the area, huh? Where might that be? The is that the golden house at the highest point of the area? Who knows? I think that's gold, right? But it's not the highest point. Hello. I was gonna say, did they fix that? No, they didn't. Do this best. It's no rolling. It's over. It's all over. Yeah, you're welcome, Not by the way. Poor girl. They talk about Kaine? They feel bad for her now? Weird. They should be thankful. Okay. Hello, sir. Me? Uh, okay then. Hmm. I'll just leave it right here. Yes, that counts as him accepting it. Okay, and we can always just talk to the guard. Can I make it here? Copper ore. I can roll again. Bring death to this village. Bruh. I never dreamed I'd see such a monster. Well, we killed it. Okay, chill out. I may have boned myself. There's no way I can make that jump, right? Yeah, no, I'm not even gonna try. I was thinking about it, but yeah, probably not smart. On our own. Am I screwed? Could have led a normal life if not for those terrible shades. Oh, that's why you feel sorry for her. Alright, I guess we have to head back up. Head back up. Ah, oh, thank goodness. Alright, if there's one thing I learned about this village is look for <laughs> look for ladders. Look for ladders. Person, once you get through all the weirdness, yeah, even with the weirdness, you can just be a good person. Hmm, <clears throat> yo, I can make this, right? <clears throat> Nothing happened. Nothing happened. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Yo, but I can make this. Alright. It's fine. Fine. I'm, uh... What they call a shortcut... Shamshan. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. See, I shaved probably five seconds because I died twice. But that's those five seconds make a whole lot of difference. Uh, at least to me, they do. <laughs> okay, we'll complete that side quest on the way back to the 
village, but for now, let's head to the Forest of Myth. I'll see you guys when it's relevant. Yeah, okay. Get out of my way! I have to save Yona! Oh, okay. Hey, it's a wild boar! Have yeah. the skill to hunt one of those down? Yeah. I don't know. They look pretty strong. But it's about to look pretty dead. Ow, ow, ow. This is impossible. No, I don't think so. Let's go. Cool. Nothing's impossible with the dark, magical dark wall of that makes us impervious. Yeah, let's go. Boar hide. Easy peasy. Yeah, this dark wall thing? Kinda nutty. Kinda nutty. Uh, con. Used with all categories. Magic to plus plus two. Ooh. Yeah, the Stark Wall is really strong. I can just, just, I just lay it on. Don't worry about what damage. Where? That's all of them, right? Okay. Lay it on thick. Ah, pretty. Very it sure is quiet here. Yes, Such quiet silence and ethereal. There's trouble on the way. Oh, I'm certain of it. We see, you know, a little optimism now and then wouldn't hurt, Vice. Yeah, such cheek. Let's talk to this dude first. Beware. Are you okay, dude? Beware. The words okay, they're definitely not okay. Words? What do you mean? Contagious words. Uh -huh. Those who dream. Those who dream? Hold a moment. This is a strange. It's a strange new sensation in my mind. Okay. Weiss's. Oh, uh, sorry. Weiss's voice rose in a quizzical way. It is not quizzical. <laughs> What's going on? The villager's body shuddered as he slowly opened his eyes. Perhaps we should start by asking this man. So is there a narrator now? Who are you? We heard something happen to this village, so we came to see if we could help. Mm. The mayor stared at Marcus and Vice. If you can speak to me, I must have caught you in my dream. Huh. In your dream? The mayor explained. In the past weeks, a mysterious disease called the Death Dream had spread across the forest of myth. Those who caught it were cursed to fall asleep and live forever within the world of their own dreams. That's bad. The village mayor had determined the Death Dream was spread from person to person by spoken words, but before he could learn more, the disease took him as well. Vice stared at the mayor, his mouth twitching slightly. What is this? Why is it covering the screen? See here. He said, Are you saying that we have been absorbed into your dream? Well, yes, said the mayor. I think you have. In other words, said Marcus, we've caught the death dream. Before the mayor could confirm Marcus's suspicion, Vice exploded with rage. Ridiculous, preposterous, completely <laughs> unfathomable on every conceivable level. I don't even recall falling asleep. That's just how the death dream works. Dang. Die in the dream, die in real life. Though polite, the mayor was clearly trying to brush aside the book's remarks. My remarks are not to be brushed aside, <laughs> fool. The mayor twisted his mouth into an embarrassed grimace, then quickly changed the subject to who Marcus had seen and what they had discussed since since coming to the village. Something there must have caused you to enter my dream, said the mayor. A certain conversation, a specific word, something. Marcus and Vice racked their brains, but could find no easy solutions. There were simply too many words to consider, too much random chatter, 
too many meaningless conversations. Grimoire Vice does not engage in <laughs> meaningless conversations. I love how he can... Uh, is everyone aware of the narrator, or is it just Grimoire Vice? The mere suggestion that Vice chose his words careless carelessly seemed to sting his pride. It does not seem to sting my pride, you bloated <laughs> This is great, I love this. <laughs> it has demolished it utterly! <laughs> Irritated, Vice looked skyward, as if searching for answers in the heavens. I was doing no such thing! <laughs> Just leave me alone already. It's like that movie with a uh, with uh, Will Ferrell. Yeah, no, you know that movie where they, he started hearing a narrator in his life all of a sudden. The anger created by his harsh words bled over to Marcus like a contagion. Ooh, it's completely black. Wait, said Marcus suddenly. Did someone just say contagion? Yes, I believe so. What of it? Well, that villager told us to watch out for contagious words, right? The mayor leaned forward with renewed interest, pushing a startled vice aside in the process. He must have said something, right? Asked the mayor. Some specific combination of words? What was it? It was about dreaming, or something that dreams, or... Ah, uh, what the hell was it? A sheep? cried Vice suddenly, blurting out the first thing that popped into his head. The others stared at him for a moment, before slowly shaking their heads. After a, f after a few more minutes of thought, Marcus's face suddenly lit up. I remember, he said. Those who dream. That's what he said. I'm sure of it. At this, the mayor produced a thick sheaf of papers from his pocket. He flipped through them a few times before finally nodding his approval at Marcus. That sounds right, he said, as a stray sheet of paper fluttered to the ground. My notes are... No, sorry, my, na my notes also mention something about that. I bet it was the last thing you heard before you fell asleep. The mayor shook his head, his worn pencil stub tracing lines across a lone piece of paper. For the last month, I've done nothing but study the disease we call the death dream, he said. I mean, I'm the mayor, right? It's my job to protect people from whatever comes along. But I never expected a couple of outsiders to start entering people's dreams. The mayor paused, a grimace crossing his face. I should probably be taking notes or something. Vice immediately fired back. I applaud the force of will it takes to research a disease in your dre dreams, Whoops, he said. But perhaps we should bend your efforts to escaping this place instead of trying to understand it. The mayor's hand tightened around his pencil, snapping off the tip. I've tried to escape. From the very first moment I realized I was locked inside my own dream, I've been looking for a way out. But I don't think it exists. I mean, this is my dream, right? If there was an exit, I'd know about it. He paused for a moment, his unfocused eyes staring at nothing. My village was beautiful, he said to no one in particular and it was filled with the most wonderful people you could ever hope to meet. But once this disease took hold, things changed. It's like someone took a sponge and soaked all the color out of our lives. I just want us to be whole again. I want us to be free. And I won't stop trying until it happens. Marcus nodded in agreement. Huh? Wait a second. I didn't nod. Look, if we can be of any help, said Marcus. Just ask. Now hold on, I did not just say that. Silence, cried Weiss, Weiss. The grimoire looked from Marcus to the mayor and back again, his face filling with confidence. Grimoire Weiss's face is always confident, thank you very much. Now see here, mayor. That was weird. Now see here, mayor. You told us that nothing can exist in this dream without your knowing of it. But yet you seemed surprised to see us when we first arrived, yes? The mayor slowly raised his head, realization dawning on his face. Oh my god, he said. You're right. You're right. I had no idea you were coming. The human imagination is a limitless engine, said Vice. And dreams are the fuel. If you can imagine an exit, then it must be so. With your permission, we shall search it out. Thank you, said the mayor. I don't know how I can repay, repay you. Payment is not required. We are as eager as you to be done with this place. 
the mayor suddenly felt as if he could breathe again. He'd almost forgotten what it was like. Good luck, you two, he called at the departing forms of Marcus and Vice. We're all counting on you. As Marcus slowly faded into the misty forest, the mayor was struck by a sense of deja vu. I saw this man once before, he thought, but where? Marcus's mood darkened as he trudged through the forest. This is a whole freaking novel. Hours earlier, when the beauty of the place was still a new thing, he'd been confident they could get in, find the exit, and be home in time for dinner. But the deeper they went, the more the forest closed in around him. The mist made it difficult to see more than a foot in any direction, and moss-covered rocks seemed determined to twist his ankle. More than once, he'd been forced to steady himself on the rough bark of a tree, and his hands now left small trails of blood on everything he touched. Additionally, Vice was proving to be a spectacularly poor traveling companion. Unhindered by either terrain or physical effort, he spent most of his time urging Marcus to pick up the pace and grumbling about their slow progress. Finally, after Vice muttered something about legless turtles being more adept at navigating the environment, Marcus snapped. Okay, Vice. Cram it for a second, would you? You don't have to walk. Marcus leaned against the tree and tried to stretch the knots from his back. How can this stupid forest be so big? He muttered to himself. The moments the word tumbled from his mouth, a cacophony of insects sprang to life. Every imaginal, imaginable form of buzz, click, and hiss roared out at a volume that rattled, that rattled his teeth. Marcus slapped his hands over his ears and screamed to be heard. Vice! What's going on? Marcus could see Vice's mouth moving. To get a mouth? But he might as well have been shouting in a tornado. The insects screamed. The forest howled. And then, just as Marcus's ears seemed ready to tear from his head and go running for cover, the sound diminished. Hesitantly, he removed the hand from his left ear and listened to the creatures of the woods. Zwee! 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 Shuck! 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 Chee! 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 Woo! Woo! Wooma! Woo! Woo! Wooma! Shik! Shik! Seek! Shik! 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 Seek! Ugh. As the insect symphony dimmed another decibel, Marcus began to detect patterns in the sound. This isn't random, he thought. It's not just white noise. It's something else. The insects, insects weren't just calling out. They were asking a question. One with it is lacking. Two with it is ideal. Three with it is dangerous. What is it? Ooh, riddles. By my pages. Is this a riddle? 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 I don't know. Does he roll your czars? I don't know. I guess so. I mean... It feels sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting out of this place. Then I'd leave it to you to answer. One with it is lacking, two with it is ideal, three with it is dangerous. What is it? Uh, so one with it. One with a secret is lacking, two with a secret is ideal, three with a secret is it. Mm, uh, one with a seesaw is lacking, yes. Two with it is ideal, three is dangerous. It's seesaw. Something that's ideal with two people, but dangerous with three. Oh, it's a seesaw. Vice's mouth flew open, but before he could say anything, the world suddenly shifted. Reen, reen, wah! Reen, reen, wah! Shik, shik, key! Shik, shik, key! When Marcus came to, he was once again surrounded by the sound of insects. <laughs> The, the weirdest sounding insects of his, of his darn, gosh darn life. The cries of the insects, I pressed A. Okay, one with it is lacking, two with it is ideal. Okay, by my pages, is this a riddle? I guess so. I mean, it's sort of forced, but maybe it's the key to getting on this way. I'll leave it to you to answer. Alright, it's the secret, I guess. Inwardly furious that Vice left the task to him, Marcus sighed and gave the only answer that made sense. It's a secret, er, uh, right? The sound of the insect stopped as suddenly as it began. I was wrong. Come on, a seesaw makes sense. The, the seesaw makes sense. These forest arthropods are making a road for us. For us, 
said Vice with glee. Pleased at passing the test, because uh, I was dumb the first time, apparently. Marcus moved on with new intensity. The path offered his body relief from the undergrowth, but gave even greater cheer to his mind. As long as they were on a path, their journey had a purpose. I guess the forest has accepted us, huh? Said Marcus after a bit. Vice spun around to face his companion. Do not mistake the will of this forest for some happy pet you can suddenly befriend. We have no idea where this path leads. As Vice finished speaking, the pair turned a corner and found themselves facing a clear forest spring. Smiling, Marcus picked up a small rock and sent it skipping across the surface of the water. Good heavens, said Vice. His surprise was sorry. His surprise was understandable. Each time the, the rock struck the surface of the water, a musical note rang out. When the rock finally stopped moving and sank to the bottom of the spring, the ripples it left behind came together to form words. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? It's sunlight. Absurdly easy, barked Weiss. Vice. Now answer it. Marcus grit his teeth and tried not to reach out and strangle his companion. He's right after all. This one is pretty easy. I enter through the window, but break no glass. When night falls, I vanish. What am I? It's sunlight. Sunlight! A plume of water suddenly burst from the spring. Sunlight filtered through the trees and reflected off the plume, creating a shimmering rainbow that spanned the entire horizon. In all my years, said what vice softly, I have never seen such a sight. Perhaps I have misunderstood the intentions of this place. Hey, look, cried Marcus, awaking Weiss from his days. I keep saying Weiss, <laughs> like Ruby, Weiss versus Weiss. There's a house or something over there. Glancing in the direction of his friend's extended hand, Weiss saw a small cottage nestled among the trees. That's weird, isn't it, Weiss? I mean, who would build a house all the way out here? Marcus walked out and pounded on the door. After a minute of solid banging, mm -hmm, sorry, the door cracked open and a small man peered out. His body was cloaked from neck to toe in a large black cape, while his face was obscured by mist. Um, began Marcus, but before he could get any further, the cloaked man held a hand up and began speaking. I have four legs in the morning, two at noon, and the night with three. What am I? I know this one. It's a human, right? Marcus tried to- this is the Sphinx's riddle. Mark tried, uh, Marcus tried to ask the cloaked man who he was and what he was doing there, but he simply repeated the question. If we wish to engage this man in conversation, said Vice, it seems we must answer his riddle. Yeah, I suppose, said Marcus. Well, at least it, it's an, uh, well, at least it's an easy one. Okay. A man. The mist dissolved in the cloaked figure as he spoke a single word. Correct. With that, the man flung his garment aside, revealing his true identity. You, you're the mayor, cried Marcus. The small man slowly shook his head. I am not the mayor, you know. Now listen to my words. Long ago, I saw a version of you that was not yourself. Uh, sorry? What's that mean? It will make sense in time. At present, I simply congratulate you on cracking the seal of the death dream. Now. You must go to the person at the forest entrance. With that, the man turned on his heel and slammed the door behind him. As Marcus watched, mist seeped up from the ground and enveloped the cottage, erasing it from existence. When Marcus and Vice returned to the forest entrance, they found the mayor leaning against a tree. As soon as he caught sight of the duo, he sprang to his feet and scrambled over to them. Good gravy, he cried. You made it. You actually made it back. He left his his left hand grasped Marcus's and pumped it so fiercely it threatened to dislodge from the socket, while his right hand, while his right seized Vice by the cover and swung him through the air. Gah, by the heavens, stop shaking me, fool! We have not even told you if we were successful or not. The mayor smiled broadly and shook his head. I'm just I'm just happy you're alive. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. Marcus withdrew himself from the mayor's eager handshake with a slight smile. We broke the death dream seal, he said. At least, I think we did. 
The mayor's face beamed as Marcus filled him in on the details. When the tale was done, the three of them laid down on the forest ground and fell asleep. Marcus cocked his head. Okay, hang on a second. This is crazy. Why would we just lay down and go to sleep? Cease your endless prattle and go to sleep, fool. Fighting against the rules of this place is futility itself. Marcus and the mayor obediently reclined atop the grassy earth. Have you forgotten? Continued Vice. It is words that control the death dream. Words that allow us to move from place to place. No matter how unnatural, unnatural they seem, the words are absolute. Therefore, if the words tell us to sleep, then sleep we shall. And once we do, the story will continue. With that, the trio found their eyes growing heavy, their breath slowing. This is, uh, this is the first time, began the mayor. The first time I have felt tired since I was imprisoned here. His words were cut off by a loud, long yawn, and he remembered nothing more. They might have slept for an hour or a year. When they awoke, they had a slightly more real quality to them. The mist felt thicker, the leaves greener. It was clear that they had awakened from their dream. Oh, thank goodness. Marcus shook his, uh, the mayor's shoulders gently. Good news, he said. I think we made it. Oh, wow, said the mayor in an awed voice. We did it. I'm back. He blinked once, and then again, as if not quite believing the sight before him. You two have no idea how much this means. The death dream was spreading through our village, and I wanted to... Well... I thought I could figure out how to stop it, but I guess that wasn't the case. I must have caught the disease and become trapped in my own dream. The mayor started to stand, then collapsed back to the earth. He stared at his legs as if trying to remember how they worked, then glanced at Marcus and shrugged. Without a word, the young man reached down and pulled the mayor to his feet. Real life may take some getting used to, said the mayor as a wry smile crossed his lips. You shall relearn in short order, I'm sure, said Vice. For now, you should return to your home and rest. No, said the mayor, swaying on his unsteady feet. No, I can't. Some of the villagers are still trapped in the death dream. I have to save them. The mayor slowly made his way to the divine tree in the center of the village, then bowed his head and prayed silently. This is a holy tree, he explained when the prayer was finished. It's the guardian of our village's history and memories. Superstition will only make our mission harder, muttered Vice. We should not put our faith in the gods. The mayor shook his head. Not the gods, the words. Legends say that our tree is home to a powerful magic known as a sealed verse. Ah, Marcus and Vice could not contain their surprise. It seemed the goal had been found in the most unexpected of places. I say, muttered Vice, this is certainly a stroke of luck. As the three of them said their goodbyes, Marcus mentioned the strange man who had given them the third riddle and the mysterious words they had left with them. I once I once saw a version of you that was not yourself, muttered the mayor. What in the world does that mean? Lost in thought, he stared into space for a long time. You know, he said softly, this is going to sound odd, but I had a feeling I'd seen you before too. Marcus tried to keep a straight face and failed, but the mayor didn't seem to notice. Deja vu, right? Anyway, I figure it's just some kind of illusion created by the death dream. It probably doesn't mean anything. Marcus gave the mayor a nod and a smile, but inwardly, his thoughts were racing. There's something wrong about the mayor and his words. Are we still trapped in the dream? And what exactly is going on here? The riddle would prove to be... That riddle would prove to be the most difficult one of all. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I need a, I need a drink of water. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Ooh. Did not expect to be reading a full, short story today. Now I can <clears> finally <throat> return to a normal life. You're welcome, homie. This is one of the most bizarre diseases I have ever encountered. I know. That's why we have to help the other villagers, no matter what. Yeah. Obtain a sealed verse, dark execution magic. Oh, it's the... Yeah, it's the spikies. Yeah, we got the spikies. 
Now I can finally return to a normal life. You're welcome. This is one of them. I know. For a sealed verse. Yes, it's almost as if someone mm. was guiding us to this village. Don't overthink it, Vice. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna call it. I will try to f uh, figure out the rest uh, of this uh, dream, death dream thing uh, next episode. But yeah, uh, I have to go. So I would like to thank everybody who's here. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, uh, especially at the last part, which was an unexpected read along. <laughs> that was kind of fun. Uh, but yeah, thanks for coming. Uh, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.